Welcome to Mediocre Gaming, and today we're playing Need for Speed Payback. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and salutations. Today, we're looking for the abandoned car. Let's get to it. So we come right down here to the barn, and it is sitting right here. Pick it up, take it back to the airstrip, and it's yours. Now, when you're looking at this car, you'll notice that it does not have a full nitrous gauge. It is not a dragster. So it makes it a little bit more difficult as to what type of car it actually is. Is it more of a drifter? Is it more of a uh, sprint car? Is it a runner? Let's try to figure it out. It is pretty loose in the turns, easy to drift, so I am going to take a guess that it is a drift car. Now, at the end of this video, there are some customization options for... Now, for some reason, the police have a hard time following you in a drift, so it makes sense to drift in the car when possible. Something with the way that they're uh, programmed, how to track, I think makes it harder for them to track when you're uh, drifting. Of course, you are drifting, because it does make uh, getting back a little bit easier. And if they get to the side of you, they will slam you into the wall and prevent you from drifting. And make sure you look out for those EMP police. Once they run alongside of you, they can run that pulse. Uh, generally, they don't do it right away, but sometimes they do. If they're sitting around the side, they will... Oh, yeah, that was great. They'll hit the EMP, and then you'll lose your uh, forward momentum, and you'll come to a complete stop for a second, which will make it a lot easier for them to bust you. So when they come alongside of you, make sure that you sideswipe them and do a little bit of damage on the car. And especially when you see that symbol above the car turn red. If they're in front of you, it's not an issue. It's when they're on the side. So continue on the path. If you can keep drifting in the turns, It'll make it a lot easier. And there are a decent number of turns between where you pick up the car and the airstrip in the middle of the map. So it will make it a little bit easier. Because like I said, the uh, cops do have some problems tracking you while you're drifting. As soon as you get to a straightaway, they will box you in. And once they got you boxed, they will try to stop you. If you get stopped, you'll start seeing the the red and blue lights. They'll start being get uh, you know stronger until you get busted. So when you start seeing them flash on the screen, make sure you start getting some distance between you and them. There we go. Yeah, break that EMP whenever you can. If they do happen to get the EMP on you, make sure you take them out. Use your, or excuse me, take them out. 
Use your boost, get away from them as quick as you can because you will only have a second to make a run for it once they stop you. So in uh, drift cars, uh, anything other than a dragster, you will have to conserve your uh, boost a little bit uh, in case you do get EMP'd or you find yourself in a tough spot where you might need to get away from them. Once you get to the windmills here, uh, wind turbines, excuse me, you can make a beeline straight to the airstrip. Now you do have to look out for rhinos. Rhinos will make your life very difficult. But keep going until you get to about 1500 yards and then the police will drop off away from you and then you're done. Enjoy your new car. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing and we'll see you next time. Found a Volvo 242 DL. This one's more than just a pretty face. There's a reason it's huge on the Scandinavian tuning scene. <laughs>